Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. I've been getting a lot of requests to show how to make a socketed arrowhead. And in my last video, I showed you how I made this target arrow. And I briefly went over how to make the point. Today I'm going to show you how I took this point from a piece of rebar to a finished arrowhead. Let's get started. I'm going to be forging this arrowhead out of steel rebar that you could also use a mild steel rod. My rebar is 3 8 inch diameter and you want to pick something that's roughly the same diameter as your arrow shaft or spear shaft if you're making something larger. A point mandrel is a really useful tool for making uniform and consistent sockets for your arrowheads. Start with a 6 inch length of rebar and then grind a taper onto one end. I'm using an industry standard 5 degree taper so that my points will fit on any standard archery shaft, but you can use any angle you like. Now it's time to fire up the soup can forge and let it get up to temperature. If you want to see how I built this forge, there's a link to that video in the description below. Once the forge is up to temperature, I put one end of the rebar in and hold it there until it glows a bright orange. Now I take it to the anvil and start by upsetting the end by striking it point first into the anvil. I'm just trying to get a little more width so we can make our socket. Next I start forging out the socket. I'm trying to form a rough spoon shape that is a little more than three times as wide as the rest of the rebar. Once the socket is flattened out and the ends are tapered thin, I start to fold the socket over. I gently begin rounding it out with gentle taps, making sure not to collapse it or have any sharp creases. Now that the edges of the socket have overlapped and everything is rounded, I put the point mandrel into the socket and tap it into place. A little more gentle shaping, the fit is nearly perfect. Using an axe head as a hot cutter, I cut the point off of the rebar about half an inch from the start of the socket. Now holding the socket with a pair of pliers, I draw the arrowhead out into a four-sided point. And then after a final fitting onto the point mandrel, I let the point cool down in the air. Once it's cool to the touch, I can take it to my grinder and start grinding it down to shape. Just finalizing the shape, making sure that the end is flat, there are no sharp edges on the socket, and refining the shape of the point. Once everything's ground down, I place it back into the forge until I get a nice red glow, and then I dunk it in oil to cool it off and also to give myself a nice black oxide finish to keep the point from rusting. Now that the arrowhead's finished, I take a cone of sandpaper and just rough up the inside of the socket. That way it will adhere better to an arrow. Here are a couple other point styles. Here are three rebar arrowheads all finished up. With a little practice, you can make match sets. Each of these are 150 grains, which work perfectly with these target arrows. I hope you had fun forging this point with me today. If you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in seeing more arrow making videos, I'll have a link to a playlist in the description. And if you like projects like these, you can see more on my channel. And I've also written several books on different topics, including making arrows. And you can check the links to those in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.